southeast in the next four years. It's not just about promise, it's about what more will the president give to the people of the southeast. As I speak to you today, 69 verifiable projects are ongoing in the southeast. These are verifiable, and this is unprecedented. And so it only gets better. And what the typical people or a um, southeast person needs to do is to sit down and ask himself sincerely what the region was during BDP and what the region is turning out to be now under it is. This is let the typical southeast person stand up before the mirror and ask himself this question. So the president has already delivered and is delivering and he can only do more. So not only the southeast, the entire country, but today, in all the 36 states of this country, several federal projects are ongoing. These are verifiable. These are no longer promises. These are things you can see and touch. So there is no doubt. So, and if this has happened at a period where we earn less in terms of revenue, compared to the 16 years of GDP when a lot came in as revenue, and yet there is nothing to point to, I think that question at this stage is no longer very relevant. The question now is what more would they get? Then they can hope to get more, much more than they already get. I think um, on the issue of appointing security chiefs on merit, um, your question points to a narrow interpretation of merit. To when you are talking of security issues, merit goes beyond your capacity as an individual. It includes other considerations which, in this case, you're talking of a country inherited from PDP, where a whole region called the Northeast had been locked by, by, down by the Boko Haram. And the issue of security goes beyond the sentiment of where somebody comes from. It includes other factors that security people will sit down to look at what is the best in terms of uh, what constitutes merit, not just about the individual that will occupy the office, but other factors that surround the issue of security that are beyond what you pick on the streets. So when the president mentioned the word merit, he was talking strictly as far as security is concerned. He's talking strictly as far as the peculiar nature of that particular aspect of our life is concerned. So we need not to be narrow about our interpretation of that merit. The much of our of control on economy is handled by the people from the southeast. You can sit down and analyze it. So the Indigo or the people of the southeast don't have to wait till after 2019 elections, they are already deeply part of this government. And I can assure you that it can only get better. There is no proof at all to suggest that the president or this government sat down with the figures from the 2015 elections to decide what goes to where. Every good thing that has happened in this country in the last three and a half years is something you can see everywhere you go in this country without discrimination. When you talk of road projects, you cannot say a particular region has been favored. If you are talking of the M power, you cannot say a particular region has been favored. If you are talking of the rail uh, network, that is ongoing, already underway, you cannot say a particular return has been favored. 
in the allocation of resources and the spread of projects, nobody can say a particular region has been favored. The, the president has been honest with us as Nigerians, he has been honest with himself, and he has been honest with his God.